Let's go, folks. Let's go. Let's go down to Stardew Valley, where the grass is green, and none of the girls are named Sally. This is one of my most played games ever, and I've always wanted to do a two-year run on YouTube, but I think now is the time. Now is the time now that, you know, school is going, and I can't really do much else in the meantime. I can kind of devote my time to something long and low impact. I think now's the time. We're just going to do a two-year run of Stardew Valley. Uh, two years is how long you have before Grandpa comes and investigates your farm and makes sure you're doing all awesome and stuff. I am going to create a character. Uh, we're going to skip this for the most part because we, uh, there are a lot more farm types than when I last played. I haven't played in about two updates, so some of this is new to me. But between PC and Switch, I do have about uh, 200 hours of Stardew Valley under my belt, which is rookie numbers for some people when it comes to playing a game, but is a lot more than I'm used to investing in a game across a lifetime. So we are going to go... Uh, I don't know if we want to go roundy. Let's just go Jess for this one. Uh, Jess is nice and ambiguous. I can be male or female or something in between. Farm name. Farm name. Now, here we go. Uh, Uncle Roundy's. Uh, that doesn't quite fit. We'll go. We'll just say Roundy's farm. And the people in town can ask what that means later. Uh, favorite thing. Hmm. I know what this is in reference to, and I know what it's gonna say later. So, I, do I do the do I do the gross thing, or do I do the, or do I do something nice? We'll just say hot wings, or hot, hot pot. I've never had hot pot in my life. Hot wings, animal preference, cat. There are several different types of cats, but this one looks the most like my cat, so we'll take it. Especially as I'm gonna be making a character that does not look much like me. So, um. I'm not going to skip the intro. I am going to look at kind of the farm types, though. Uh, beach farm. Good foraging and fishing. Tons of open space. Sometimes supply crates wash up on shore. However, sprinklers don't work. That could be problematic. Uh, there's a chewy bluegrass that animals. Let me start with two chickens. I'm going to start with... I'm going to start with my favorite kind of farm, which seems to be a little different than it used to be. Your farm, uh, which is the river farm because I am, I really enjoy fishing in Stardew Valley uh, and I get good at it very quickly. I, it's probably the skill I level up the fastest. So let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna go with a Riverland farm and I am going to, I'm gonna skip this whole process because I could sit here for hours making up an appearance, but I don't wanna look like that nerd. I know that much for sure, but I could, it could take me a while to do this, so we are just going to skip this. Okay, I decided to turn the game volume down a little. Uh, also, I decided to be a girl for this run, because why not? Uh, what is this, though? I need to check this real quick. Advanced game options. Community center bundles. Okay. Normal or remixed. Guarantee year one completable. Ensures that the traveling merchant sells a red cabbage seed sometime during the first year. Interesting, interesting. Okay, um, no, I'm not gonna guarantee that, but I am gonna do the community center because why would I not? Uh, let's see, mine rewards, normal, or re modifies the rewards. I guess you can do this like if you wanna modify your experience some. A multiplier for items of profit margin, interesting. Normal, 75, oh, like if I wanna make it more difficult, I guess. Uh, Let's see, multiplayer options, other stuff, whatever. I'm not going to mess with any of this. And I don't normally play a modded experience. That's not how I do. This is vanilla Stardew Valley. So sorry if this is not interesting to those of you who are hoping for something a little crazier. But we're just going to get right into it. This is for those who have kind of never experienced the game. And perhaps never will on their own. But would like to see somebody else kind of make their way through it. Let's go. Let's watch the intro. It's been a while since I've seen this, so let's get the cursor off the screen and let's let it happen. Grandpa is in bed, and for my very special granddaughter, Jess. It's me. I want you to have this sealed envelope. I can see why people skip the intro. This is moving awfully slowly. So, let's see. No, no, no. Don't open it yet. 
Have patience, Grandpa mumbles through his thick beard. Now listen close. I'm listening, Grandpa. Flex those fingers, get the blood flowing. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Will there now? I, I think that day has already uh, come and gone. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. This is getting a little, little morbid, Gramps. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Looks like you're cooking a rib cage in the in the fireplace over there. Now let Grandpa rest. XDX years later. This is taking place in Mega Man times. So here we are working in Joja in our cubicles. The work light is currently blinking. People working all miserable at their jobs. Someone got fired, terminated. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Lick Lipping, lip, lip Licking Cowboy over here seems pretty happy. Did there used to be a? Did there used to be just like a skeleton in one of the cubicles? Did they take that out? I'm pretty sure there used to be a dead person in one of these cubicles. Okay, modern cubicle life is crushing us. It's time to reach in and read that letter. Dear Jess, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. Uh, maybe a few bills, too, while I'm at it. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and with nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Roundy's Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. So let's go make some real life connections on a video game farm. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Mm, not so much. Don't think I'll be doing that. I mean, he's going to come to my house and say hi to me. So here we go. On the bus to Stardew Valley. Population 23. That's a guess. I don't know how many actual characters are in the game. Maybe maybe more than that. There's 16 romantic partners alone, so there's got to be more than that. 0.5 miles to Stardew Valley. Second star on the right and straight on till morning. Up to Stardew Valley. We have brown birds. We can skip the bus parking, I suppose. Here we go, Robin. Not a romanceable option, unfortunately. You must be Jess. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's right there right now, tidying things up. Okay, do I have to follow her manually? I do not. Thank you. I appreciate that. I tried my best to make the blues on my farm dress match. If they clash, I'm very sorry. This is Roundy's farm, established by Roundy. Yeah, it's a bit of a right mess for sure, but we, we will get it cleaned out and we will get some things growing in there. Yeah, it's a bit overgrown. There's some good soil and at least you're not working for Joja anymore. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. No time flat. Let's go. And here we are. Your new home. Comes with a free Mayor Lewis. The new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. Yeah, weirdly, the name of the town is not Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is just the geographical location which this takes place. The actual town is Pelican Town, which I always found kind of weird. You know, everyone's been... <laughs> I, I know. I'm sure I have. They've been asking about me and the 2100 some odd subscribers I've had for, what, six, seven years now? Well, you know, I'm trying not to be too big a deal. I would just like to uh, stay and, you know, live my life in peace Maybe go fishing, mine some monsters. It's a good house. Very rustic. Uh, not sure why rustic. It's very rustic. 
manufactured that way. Crusty? You can't spell crusty without rustic. They are kind of an anagram, if you spell one of them wrong. I will buy the house upgrades, Robin. Don't worry. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Uh, today, you ought to mind your own business and just let me live my life, Mayor Lewis. The townspeople would appreciate that. Well, I'm sure they would. One townsperson in particular uh, who I will be revealing forthwith. But I think for the most part... I'm going to try to get my farm cleaned up, but I may run around town first and see what happens. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. It'll come by during the night, and I will receive the commensurate amount of cash for it in the morning. So let's get some rest. Let's see what's up. Okay. All right, it's saving. Your progress has been saved. Day one, Monday. All right. So I do have to run with Wazdy. Okay. Okay. Check things with the right mouse button. Whoa! That was one animated box rip. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's something. Here's a little something to get you started. From Mayor Lewis. All right. Well, we may plant those. We may not. Probably we will. I usually do. Um, they're not the most profitable thing in the world. Uh, oh, yeah. Start out with a fish smoker. I can smoke some fish. Because I'm going to be doing some fishing. So, usually I fish when I can't think of anything else to do in a day. So, you know, obviously we'll edit those times out, but okay, the journal, getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the base. So cultivate and harvest a parsnip. You got it, and then introductions. So, okay, there's 28 people in Stardew Valley. I was not too far off, actually. So introduce myself around town. I'm, maybe I'll get something when I pass that journal entry. Okay, let's check the TV. Uh, the fortune teller living off the land. I think a couple days a week, the recipe lady comes on. So we need to check the TV and be sure that we do that. Okay, so I've got my parsnip seeds here. Okay, all right. Okay, the hoe, the pickaxe, the scythe. Okay, yeah, let's pick up point out all the weeds. The weeds are the most important thing to point out. We've spent about two hours doing this. Maybe it's about time to go to town. See who's picking out. We got a nice little space cleared out here. Uh, we will go ahead and uh, hoe up some ground. Two, three, five. Get a little bit of that clay under our fingernails. All right, let's, let's do this upright. Move as little as possible. Fill it back up with our convenient water source. And then, yeah, why not? I, yeah, sure. Why not go to town and meet some people? Go ahead and say hi to all the locals. Look around in their trash can. See what we can... Uh... Oh, hey, yeah. Some of these some of these little things. Daffodils. These are important. It's important to pick up, you know, random plants off the ground. Uh, daffodils are also, I think, a favorite flower of our love interest, if I recall correctly. Though I am going to be playing a lot of this game with a wiki pulled up. So, so don't, don't worry. I'm not going to be guessing my way through the game as to what certain people like. Uh, let's go ahead and dig through people's trash. It does lower your social standing to be seen doing that, but I'm going to go around. Okay, yeah. Open the door. Who lives here? Okay, uh, that is Sam, I think. He's not out yet. Okay, talk to Jody. Uh, what were you imagining? Uh, it's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. This town seems pretty farmy as it is. I, I'm more than okay. I'm totally fine. You may talk to me anytime you want. You're not good enough friends with Jody to enter her bedroom. Well, I mean, we did just meet, so I think that's perfectly acceptable. I do think that's one thing that's neat about Stardew Valley is you can't just traipse into someone's bedroom. Uh, let's see. Uh, can I traipse into this bedroom? We'll see. Uh, who's out and about right now? Hello, you. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Indeed, I am. 
Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Uh, she's pretty shy right now, but don't worry. We'll get to know her very well because she won the straw poll for the romantic partner. We're going to be romancing Haley on this run. I've never done that before. Uh, she she can seem kind of snotty, but I'm sure we can get her to uh, open up. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult, especially since I have one of her. There we go. Getting some friendship going already. We're going to be giving her, we're going to be plying her with regular gifts. And there is an event uh, in the spring that you can actually do uh, pretty early on. Hello, Penny. How's it going? Uh, you're just going to sit cross-legged on the ground. You do that. Uh, yeah, Haley loves daffodils. We can actually uh, romance her with those. And there's a flower dance later on in the spring where uh, where if we... Let's see. This is, this is the old people's house. Uh, hopefully nobody steps out while I... Broken glasses. Heck yeah. Just what I've always wanted. Leah. Uh, I have a friend who likes romancing Leah very much. She seems very happy. Yeah, spring is a good time to move here. Indeed. Let's run around and see who else is here. Clint. I will say hi to you for completion, but Clint sucks. Oh no, that's Gus. Never mind. <laughs> Gus doesn't suck. Uh, he's a... Uh, Gus is perfectly a perfectly acceptable friend. I can go in the back room. Let's see. I, and I can, uh, I can look at your, I can look at your clock. You just got your clock out there. Hello and welcome to our community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. I will not be doing that. That seems uh, somewhat disrespectful, at, to say the very least. George doesn't really leave the house much. I guess, but if I get something out of it, maybe a little money. I don't suppose I'll be too upset about it. Let's see. Can I go up anywhere else in here? Oh, hey, shirtless Alex there. Pump and Ryan. Oh, hey, the calendar. What's up on the calendar? So Haley's birthday. Yes, that's a big part of the reason we can get so far with her. Uh, bookseller. Bookseller. This is all very new stuff. Uh, egg festival. Probably can't do much with that, but... Okay, yeah, birthdays. Birthdays are very important. Gonna have to remember these. Flower dance. Yes, we'll get her Haley a birthday gift on her birthday. That should that should pump our relationship status a lot. Uh, but let's go in the shop and meet people. We already met Leah. Hello, Pierre. It's Miss Jess. That's me. That's my name. Don't wear it out. All right, here we go. Do need a new backpack, but maybe not today. That's a little on the expensive side. Upgrade to 24 slots, 2,000 gold. Uh, not now, thank you. Uh, can I go back here? Oh, I can. This is a this is a freer house than most. Although, who is actually doing anything? Uh, you have church? What's, what's happening here? Altar of Yoba. When are your worship services, Pierre? That's, that's quite interesting. Anybody else to meet in the kitchen? No, not so much. I know Abigail is around here. Abigail is Pierre and Caroline's daughter. Uh, some people really go for that goth thing, but uh, <laughs> I, I like romancing Abigail because she eats rocks. That's very funny. It's locked. Open from 9 to 3. Ah! I just missed old Harvey. Could have got him a cup of coffee. That would have been a nice way to score some easy points. Then Maru, how are you? I am the one who just moved in. Yeah, yep, I'm I'm here to alter some community dynamics for sure. Okay, I already checked that one. Let's go. Let me take you to the beach. Oh, hey, Elliot, uh, a.k.a. Fabio is how I normally think of him. It is a pleasure. It is a pleasure to meet folks. Uh, I'm going to be particularly interested in meeting one guy down here for new fishing rods and such like. I always like the thunk thunk of walking on the dock. Gone fishing. Be back tomorrow. Are you anywhere nearby? Or are you fishing in other environs? I can just go fishing at home. I got a lake right by my house. I'm a lucky girl. It's just what every girl always wanted. A river by her own house to fish in. Library. Ever important source of knowledge. I always thought Gunther was really cool. Oh, no, no artifacts for display. Well, I'm sure I will be able to fill it up 
pretty nicely. What does this book have to say? There's a book missing here. Well, the cursor would seem to indicate otherwise. Does meeting the Jojamart guy count? Uh, no, I will not be patronizing Jojamart anytime soon because I am pure of heart. Thank you very much. I do not shop in your big box grocery stores. I'm going to run you out of town. I represent the little guy. Well, it's getting pretty dark, but I know some people hang out at the tavern at night, so maybe we can meet some new faces there. If I can remember where the dang old place is. Uh, is it up? It's starting to get pretty dark, as you can see. Uh, here we go. Food and spirits. Lit up real nice like okay yeah there's a few new people here yeah there's clint he sucks uh we hate him here's shane the town drunk came very close uh one person single-handedly almost made it so that we uh romanced shane but uh don't worry we don't have to change him anytime soon uh pam that's penny's mom she's uh she's got a bit of a drinking problem a few people in stardew valley do here's emily Emily, the local uh, free spirit. Uh, the kids are probably hanging out here too, but we need to get home pretty quickly. I'm not going to bother hunting anyone else down. Now the kids aren't here. Uh, Sam, Sebastian, Alex, this must not be one of the nights where they hang out. Uh, so let's go ahead and go home then. All right, we're back at the homestead. What I like to do here, I don't have the fishing rod yet, so I actually can't do any fishing. Yeah, see, it's getting late, midnight. That's when they that's when they start warning you. So as long as we are being warned about that, maybe we should just go inside and call it a night. So we will go to bed and uh, we'll try to do one, maybe two days at a time. I'd like to fit in two days at a pop, but if that creates too long of, you know, too long of a watching experience, then we'll just do one day at a time. We will We will take it nice, take it slow, take it easy. But uh, mostly, I right now, I'm just whiling away the hours till I can get that fishing rod. Go to sleep for the night? Yes, we will go to sleep for the night, and we will end it here, and I will see you guys for more Stardew Valley. I'm pretty excited about this, not going to lie.